How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys I got uh, something a little a little quirky a little weird. I'd say honestly um, It's a new mod that was released into the workshop here, and it is the Lloyd LT 600 pickup so uh, Yeah, I'll be real with you guys. I really don't know much about the history of this little pickup truck here uh it's very uh, interesting. I definitely okay. That's a little weird. It's definitely not a uh, U.S. based. I would say. Um, I have no. I have no real idea, honestly. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. All right. No click. No click at all. She's not starting. We got. I guess. What are these suicide doors on here that open from the back? Open. All right. All right. I don't really see much on here. So since this is a mod, I will say this, guys. Uh, this is a little like it's a little little janky you know sometimes you know sometimes mods can get a little janky here um and this one is no exception so this is running the i4 block i think the same i4 block that like the jeep willies runs uh-huh same i4 block that the jeep willies runs it has 19 horsepower so uh yeah there's that so it's not really it's not it's not crazy in any way um any measurable way um, but what we're gonna be doing today is fixing it up making it look nice and actually seeing how it drives I'm assuming when we get it onto the course It's gonna drive kind of like a go-kart or a, uh, a golf cart, you know, just putting around just like put 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 just absolutely absolutely uh, Probably trash, but you know It's interesting. It's cool. I highly doubt you could ever uh, carry anything in the in the back here other than maybe a few golf balls or something but uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna We're gonna give it a try. We'll see We'll see what it can do. I, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the entire uh, truck, quote, quote, in this video, or pickup truck. I think that's what it's called, right? It's a pickup, yeah. So I don't know if I'll be able to finish this entire thing in this video. I'm going to probably try to. Uh, I don't even know what the suspension has on it. Yeah, it's got no springs or anything. It's just got, like, tie rods going into nothing with no steering or... Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, so it should be pretty easy to work on here. All right, well, there's uh, there's the gearbox gun. So we're gonna pull the uh, motor out completely and try and like soup it up a little bit because I'm worried if it's only at 19, it's like, oh my gosh, look at that, guys! It's a little baby motor. Oh my gosh. This motor is like the size of one cylinder and like a V8, the whole motor. That's amazing. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be able to do, but I'd rather try and get it to have at least a little bit of horsepower under the under the hood uh, rather than it just absolutely flop on me because I do want to try and drive it at least. I'm not sure if this one has a turbo. I don't think this one has a turbocharger on it. There's no way it does. Um, wow, and it was that, uh, it was that easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, this was a junkyard find, so it is, uh, it is going to be a little, a little worse for wear here. If I can even see the bearings. Yeah, that's pretty funny, actually. The last time I worked on a motor this small would have been either the Tesla's little mini electric motors, or the, uh, I think I tried to work on a motorcycle at one point, which was absolutely just, uh, I mean, it was a very good try as a mod, but not great. Oh, that was loud. There we go. All right. Well, that's really all there was to that. Now I can see if I can just start popping the engine block back in. Uh, I foresee, I foresee what bearing caps. We got one left. Any pistons? No. Nope. Okay, so let's go buy some pistons, some bearing caps, uh, you know, the basic stuff. We are going to try and do a little bit of performance stuff, though, just uh, just to give us a little bit of that extra edge here. Only four, and then we're going to need distributor, rotor, and then for the cap, I'm not sure which cap they're going with, so we'll wait off on that. Uh, we'll get our piston, rings, four... We'll get our rod caps for uh we'll get our bearing ca bearing caps uh two more i think with this motor 
And then we're going to see what they have for I4C. Okay. That's one thing. We're probably going to need this. Um, I'll just buy that just for now just to see how we do. So, yeah, there we go. We're putting in a little bit of performance in it. What do these give again? Like 1.13. Okay. So, these give 1.13%, which is a 4% increase, which, I mean, the way that the uh, modifications in this game work, if you guys don't know, is it's a percentage-based thing. So, it'll increase the overall percentage of the horsepower by, so you take, like, your total... Uh, mod percentage like how much you have right there and then you multiply that by the actual uh stock horsepower and then the, i'll give you your mod horsepower it's not like normal things were like oh yeah this lad uh like a set like 15 horsepower this will give you like one or two horsepower uh no nah, it doesn't really work like that in this game which is kind of sucks it's not really realistic but what are you gonna do about it it's uh it's just the way it is it's okay though perfectly fine uh all right next thing oh i forgot we can do performance uh stuff back here flywheel clutch all right flywheel i think that's the good flywheel right yeah the See, that gives a 3.2%, and this gives a 1.75. So, um, the flywheel and clutch and this whole assembly back here gives you more horsepower than the actual piston. So, like a built like motor um, wouldn't be as much as the, uh, the clutch right there. Which is a little weird, but that's ah, alright. Alright, slide our camshaft in. I don't think there's a performance camshaft, and honestly, I'm not going to go check for what it's going to be worth i just throwing in the most basic stuff that i know we got so the base another air filter base do we actually save a couple things here oh, okay close okay coil b is our head cover and then i think we need no no clips so filter i4c well filter i4c also we'll grab this while we're here there it is. I force you. Now, where's the top of this? It's got to be that. And then I think we needed cam. I think it was an I6, right? Is that what it was? Cam gear I6B. That's what she was. All right. Oh, I forgot to buy that part. We got the distributor though. And guys, uh, there will be more videos coming out. I know I've been kind of lackluster on some videos here recently, uh, not coming out on uh, on like a regular schedule, honestly. Um, just finishing up uh, one more class in school, and then I should be good for for some good time here. Okay, I six B. I six B. Looking for these arms. Uh oh, I spelled that wrong. Ignition. There's our coil, and then oh, it was another thing we needed. We needed the uh, the top end here. I think we got the. I think we definitely are gonna end up running the green head. Okay, we still don't have that. Where's the air cover be? I mean, where's this one? Let me find this. Okay. So I think this should trace once I get this part on across the top here, right? I think it like traces over the top, and it connects to the top of the head. Okay. Look at that seamless gap. You can't even tell there's a difference. Okay. We still don't have the pump. Hey, look at that. We have an extra quality arm. I didn't even know we had that. Saves me a quick uh, true rip to the store. Carburetor, I6B. Don't have I6B power steering pump. Let's see if we can find those parts in here. I know I6 is our thing. Uh, pump, uh, fuel pump, carb. Nice. A little bit of some uh, wacky parts here. Some parts like I6B parts going in the I4 uh, C motor, but I6. Okay, so it looks like this is like a split, honestly, between I6B and I4C. I mean, 
uh, I6B. So we need, not the cam gear, I about bought that. We need this belt here. And then I'm not sure what else we're gonna need. So there's the chain, there's that. I don't think we have any cover. No, alternator. All right, we got that. See, I knew we were gonna need that. Fuel filter, okay. I got a list that we need now. Alternator. Fuel filter, and they'll grab a fuel pump just in case because you don't, you don't know if we'll need it. Four spark plugs. Uh, we're probably gonna be running wires, but I'm not sure what wires we'll be running. Um, it's obviously gonna be the i4 wires. I'm pretty sure it's that. That looks like the setup that we're running right now. Maybe I don't know. We'll find out. Grab that. And then I think probably an I6 uh, crankshaft, but I really, a crankshaft pulley, but I really don't know. A V8 crankshaft pulley, look at that. Stepping her up. All right, go up here. Yeah, I think we got the right wires, right? Yep. All right, so now, couple things I need is the clips we need B clips and a v8 pulley so we'll grab our thing forgot the L. clip uh, B clip B clips the longer clips that I usually do um, uh, I think yeah they're usually always doing the uh, distributors and then clip A is the shorter like uh, more sprung loaded clips are meant to do air filters and stuff like that did we get everything no we need the uh, and we're gonna go with the v8 pulley and then i'm gonna go back to the i4c because we're gonna be needing one of these parts down here i think we're gonna need that one i think that matches the uh the look we're or the alternator pattern one come on two there we go oh that did not match the pattern we were going for it will, but not right now. So we need I6B stuff. Uh, I6B. So we need the, we'll go with A and the, okay. Okay, we got bought, we bought a ton of belts. One of these should work, you know. Then we need a little radiator fan to slap on there. But other than that, it looks like the rest of this thing is complete. Radiator fan. Just a little guy. Where's the straight radiator fan? Oh, there it is. Well, that's the housing fan. I need fan B. There we go. Uh, I can't wait to slide... This itty bitty little motor here, back in the uh, back in the engine, or back in the engine compartment. Uh, but first, before we do that, let me transfer over some equipment we're going to need to help spruce up the load. Okay, <clears throat> give that dusty interior a spray down, and let me see that framework returning back to pristine condition. All right, so it still says 19 horsepower, which is good. Uh, get this thing up in the air here. Uh, we most likely repaired the gearbox and or I probably have the gearbox, so not too worried about that. Hey, look at that, we got a plus three quality gearbox. I'm still not too sure what the quality does. Maybe it's like, uh, it's just a little bit extra price on it, but I really don't know too much about the quality does. That one was never really explained very well. So this all this thing needs is the transfer case and we're good all right looks like it uh we'll pop this section out so we need an i4 section i4 c section this will affect the horsepower so i do want to make sure i uh 
change it and get it updated, you know. So we need catalytic converter, middle muffler, and then just exhaust pipe C. Some classic stuff. Um, middle muffler, catalytic converter. Uh, what was the last one? Oh, pipe C. Super classic. I think this might just pipe out and literally nothing else happens after that. We'll also grab ourselves a new fuel cell slash container here if I can find it. There it is. It's kind of a shame that they don't have different fuel cells or different fuel containers for all the different... Uh, oh, it does have a muffler on it. Okay. For all the different cars, but it's all right. So rear muffler BV8. That one might be in here. Muffler BV8. Yes, it is. Okay, Cali converter, middle muffler, score done. Question is though, where does this thing pull its gas from? Uh, there's no gas tank I can see. Something, something's not right here. What? Really? No gas tank? I guess I can just check the parts list to see if it is. Unless this is... <gasps> that's the gas tank. So it doesn't actually have a physical one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Do I see anything for fuel? Fuel, 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 fuel. Starter. Need starter. Can't forget that. Uh, yeah, there's no... Uh, there's no gas tank. A uh, little interesting, but... And of course, they want me to access that from the engine bay. Not consistent. Hold on, really quick, let me just rip this stuff off here. It's actually kind of getting in the way and it's getting annoying here. At least that runs a normal starter. None of that funky stuff. I don't even know. Uh, next is going to be battery. 13%. That's fine. We can get that charged up in no time. Okay. Battery's good. Get this door off. Get the bumper. So I guess that that is literally the entire frame right there. Steering wheel. We got some interior pieces. All right. Well, so we can repair. That was quite a bit. So we have the rear bumper, we don't. So we need to go pick up one of those. And looks like we can't really put too much on without the rear bumper. Engine cover. Front end is absolutely destroyed. Hood. Okay, yeah, we need to just go buy. Let's just buy all new. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and figure out what we're missing here. Uh we'll get the Willy stuff. So we need that. Not interior. Then we need to go to our community cars body shop and then not sure. I think this is a yeah. L L O Y D. Lloyd, yeah, right. Whoa, this has got a lot of parts to it. Lloyd 600, Lloyd Alexander Combi. Whoa. I think we're running the 600, though. We're definitely running the 600. Yeah. Yeah, we're running the pickup. Okay. So I guess this is everything. You can only buy one of each, so might as well just go through and spend all the money on it. Then I think it said there was another thing we can here we could remove. Yeah, this clamshell. Okay. Interior disassembly. Rip all that out. What is that? There we go. I was running a 300 SL. So now I think we can just go through slowly and re-add all the good stuff. If it would even let me, hold on, let me remove the front end again. I think I was able to add this before the front end was in. Yep, there it is. Ooh, I like the, I like the cover on there though. That is a pretty, pretty snazzy cover. That get our bumper on. So this was a yellow before we uh, got a hold of it. So I think we're gonna return it back to its previous 
Uh, banana looking glory. Clamshell in before I get any further to the point where I block myself from being able to do anything. Oh yeah, I forgot. Then it has a little mini uh, like buggy in the back here. This is definitely a very, 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 very old uh, pickup here. I have no idea what it is, but yeah, the Lloyd 600. I know that the creator of this mod also, uh, he got in contact with, I think, one of like the creators or somebody of this actual vehicle and asked for the rights to use them, and he got them. So that is really cool, and that's always a good thing to do. All right, so body part is almost done. License plate, Willie's steering wheel. And battery, okay. So we'll get another C, a 300 SL steering wheel. Uh, 300. And I think that that's all we really needed to button up some of these pieces. Let me do one more thing before I really get... We'll get to it right now. All right, let me remove this. Before we get too far and I lose all chances of getting back into this motor, we're going to add some oil to it. Almost forgot to do that. Obviously, this wouldn't take this much motor. But literally, probably just take a splash and then it'd be good. All right, there's our cover. Close the hood, ta-da, and we'll back it up here to the entrance because when it's at the entrance, we can actually access the interior. Okay, throw that in, get a Jeep Willie seat, Jeep Willie seat. Okay, close that. I love how the interior literally has like, <laughs> I don't even know what you would call this, just this, oh. It's uh, got like framework that you can visibly see. All right, license plates. We're going to throw on a Dubai plate because, you know, why not? I just have a plate and I don't want to uh, have to go and grab another one. So let's, let's use those. All right, what are we at right now? 100, 100. Hey, look at that. We got it's worth 30K now. I bought it for six. I probably have put in probably 15,000 into this so far. So we're at least making some of the money back on it. All right, paint shop. Uh, we're gonna go with the, I guess this is the factory color. <gasps> I like it. It fits it, it's a, it's like a, it's a pastel, I think is what they call it. This, it's a pastel color. Definitely fits the, uh, the vibe we're going for on this, but oh, it's, it's a, it's a cute little, cute little car here. That looks like it is everything that we need to be put on it. Now, the real question is, Cannot start engine. Why? What is stopping us from starting this engine? Brake drum, rims, wheels, brake drums, battery. Up. Ah. I have the battery. What am I doing? Pop this bad boy open. Close it down. All right. What about now? All right. Sweet. It moves to dyno. If it can be moved to the dyno, that is a good sign. It's usually a sign of it working, I think. All right, so we got 19 horsepower with 42 foot-pounds of torque. I think my uh, I think my lawnmower pretty much has that much. I know I think my lawnmower only has like I think like one and a third horsepower, but still, what curve is that? Ooh. Okay. Well, hey, 27 horsepower. Um, we definitely uh, bumped it up a little bit. I mean, 27, 19, and that's, that's eight, eight horsepower. It's almost, almost a 50% gain. I'll, I'll take that any day. Um, next thing is up. We're gonna take this out to the airport and uh, just toss it around. I know I did not touch the wheels, brakes, or suspension. There's number one. There's, there's. I don't think there's, there's no suspension. Um, I think it was only just like steering knuckles, brakes, drums. I think it was only drums actually. And then I think it had tie rod. So it had a little bit of the steering, but other than that, no suspension at all. 
Obviously, suspension's pretty bad in this because, as you can see, just sitting here idle, we're, we're rocking back and forth. All right, let's see how she does, though. Okay. She steers. She's got pretty good turning radius. I'll say that for not having a for not having a steering uh, steering knuckle or anything like that. Not bad. Actually, you no, know, it does it does steering knuckles. Those tie rods. But um, it's definitely small. It's definitely. Uh, like I said, kind of uh, golf cart-ish. Uh, we'll see what we can get it up to on a top speed here. If it sounds like every single time it shifts gears, it's going to screech into... It's a brand new gearbox, so it shouldn't be doing that on me. Alright, we got her up to 56, 57, 58. Are we going to hit 60 miles an hour? Alright, this can go on the highway. Not very safely, but it can go on the highway. You can do it! I think we're topping her out. 64? 64? Oh, we got it! Oh, -ho. okay. Yeah, this thing's not too bad. I think these would be definitely fun if we had like a bunch of them. If we like everybody like raced them. It's got pretty good control. I will say that. Obviously, it's very easy to go slow and have really good control. Um,. But super slow. I think it gets up to fourth gear maximum in 64 miles an hour is what I hit. Um, so I'm probably going to just mark it at a 64 max because, you know, that's all I got. But, um, yeah, it's pretty. this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to end this, go back to the garage. But, yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little, uh, I don't even know what to call it, little, little project right there. Something real quick, an i4 uh, motor change out the body uh we're not gonna touch suspension or anything like that just because it is a restoration but i don't want to go overboard on it but there we go i did enjoy it what wheels do you have on this oh it's got its own little it's got its own little lloyd wheels i think ah i see it's got like caps on it that's really really cool that is a great addition and a great way to mod it i i really appreciate it yeah attached to the front bumper that's really cool but there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do more of these like weird little quirky, uh, quirky workshop uh, designs. I only did. I mean, I did this one because it was a pickup truck, and I was like, oh, let's let's see what it see what it has to offer. But obviously not too much. Um, it's super old. I don't even know the year on it. It's definitely dating back to at least 50s, I would say, or at most 50s. I'd... No, at least 50s. At least 50s. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.